Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm staying on the main roadway that goes north-south through our farm. And what I'm going to be doing is killing two birds with one stone. We the A lot of these big cedar trees, um, they've grown a lot in the last couple of years. And they block a lot of the sunlight from getting on this roadway. So this roadway stays really wet during the wet times of years or after big rains kind of thing. So I have brought in some fill over the last year, but obviously um takes a lot of money to uh, fill a road this big so i've just kind of been doing it as i could afford to do a bit here a bit there filling in the worst spots kind of thing um, i plan to continue doing that this year but i think a big help would be to get some of these bigger trees out of the way so that the sun can be on it a lot more often and help dry it out that way too we also have a heifer that's having her first calf as we speak um just to try to keep things calm for her i'm not going to go in there right now but afterwards hopefully if everything's good we can go in and have a look at that little guy or gal but uh anyways for right now i'm gonna get some of these cedars cut down i think my dad might be coming back too um, i'm not exactly sure when but get some of these cut down and taken into the mill the heifer just had her calf literally like two minutes ago i think she's still licking them off right now so i'm just gonna sneak in there and try to get a shot <laughs> uh, already trying to get up yeah. uh, always nice when a heifer can have them on their own Maybe she'll calm down a little bit now. <laughs> Might, yeah. She must be taking a bit too. What's the fastest you've ever seen one stand up before? <sighs> Years ago, I seen a, seen a calf. Uh, it was one of the big low cows. She was a heifer. Calf was born, I bet you, within two minutes. It got up and... It was staggery, but it run right into the barn from the manure pile out there. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but that's very unusual. Well, God, I went up and checked on the situation there. Got pretty lucky with the timing, so that's what a baby cow looks like about two minutes after it's born. It's already trying to get up, which is a really good sign, so looks like we're in good shape so far this year. kind of lucky just as I turn, was going to go get that tractor dad was coming back with it so I didn't even hear him coming over the noise of the side by side but sure glad that we've got chains on that tractor because it's you see back here as you can see as he just slid there so one of the things about cutting all these trees down is a lot of them are on a lean into the roadway and we have this fence here that is a barrier for our cows when they're out on pasture and i guess that's kind of one of the things that we've accepted is a lot of these are going to fall on this fence so if we have to do repairs we will but if we don't that would be better so this is the first one it's kind of down on the fence so that's just going to cut come back with the tractor see if he can just kind of lift that off with the loader so that it doesn't do any damage would be good looks like it might be kind of tricky i wonder if i could chain it to it for him i'm gonna suggest that We have a burn pile for uh, like all the branches and brush and stuff like that not too far from here so we're just gonna drag these trees straight back to there.
we'll just take that straight back to the burn pile which also isn't too far from the sawmill so we can just you know limit all there cut it into whatever lengths we want and it'll keep all the mess in one area instead of getting it all over the path for the most part at least so that one took a bit longer than it probably should have because sometimes i just jump into things without thinking about it too much i probably i should have had either the side by side or tractor preferably tractor on the other side of the tree instead of this side because we're, do we're towing them out that way and there's no way to get around it right here so yeah from now on we're definitely just going to have the tractor down that way so when we drop the tree we can just hook onto it take it that way so yeah <laughs> Well, there goes the second tree. So we're making a bit of progress now. Just gonna have a quick check on the calf before lunch. Ah, oh, that was a struggle. Oh, first time up. <laughs> this is the first time he stood up, I think. He's not. <laughs> They're always so weak, it's, I find it kind of comical. Take a step, buddy, take a step. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I think it's a little girl calf, but... There's this other cow that's having her calf right now, so we're just gonna try to walk her into a separate pen. Sure, trying hard. He was up for a while there, just yeah. before we went in. Well, while we were having lunch, this other cow had her calf, so let's go in and have a look at it. There's a little guy right there. Hey, mama. Apparently he has been up walking around, but having a bit of a rest now.
We're hoping that we can get the tractor in through here where the side-by-side -side is to hook up to this because it's 99.99999 just gonna do that and not come down hardly any further so I knew it was too big to uh, pull yank over with the side-by-side -side, so I was waiting until we had the tractor. Doesn't take them too long to start getting good on their feet.